Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 24th of 2022, what is titled Rigel and the Witch Head Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, to the right, we see the bright star Rigel, one of the brighter stars in the constellation of Orion the Hunter, a prominent winter constellation. And to the left, we see the dark dusty nebula known as IC 2118, or more popularly known as the Witch Head Nebula. And if you can make out the witch head there kind of staring at the bright star Rigel looking in that general direction. The witch head nebula is a dusty nebula and that is made up primarily of dust and we can see how it kind of blocks out light from behind it. Now some of the bluish glow that we see in this image is caused by the star itself. Rigel is a very hot blue star. But some of the regions around the stars also appear blue and that is also caused by dust. Dust grains are very good at scattering blue light and less good at scattering red light. So that means that they're going to look bluer overall. Now that also means that in other cases we can use a longer wavelength length light like red or even infrared to penetrate through dust because it passes through the dust better. It's better able to look into those and to look into things like stellar nurseries such as the witch head nebula here where dust is present. And we can then we get the blue light scattered around and seeming to come from all directions. And that's in a way similar to what happens in our own atmosphere. The sky appears blue because of scattering of light and the blue light is better scattered and seems to come from all directions and the red light is better able to pass through. So when you watch a sunrise or sunset and see that deep red and deep orange sun off on the horizon that all the blue light is being scattered and ends up coming from all directions in the sky giving us the blue sky that we're used to seeing. So the sun actually does not change color itself. The sun is always the same and would appear kind of a whitish color since that's our definition of white light what we're used to as it would rise rise. So it appears to change colors, but it really doesn't. It is just the atmosphere. And as it looks through the very thick atmosphere, as you look off to the horizon, a lot of light is scattered out, leaving only the very deep reds able to make it through. As it gets higher up in the sky, less light is scattered and the sun will start looking more orange and into a yellowish color as it gets much higher up in the atmosphere. And that's a similar thing that's happening in a dusty nebula, what we call a reflection nebula here around Rigel. So that was our picture of the day for January 24th of 2022. It was titled Rigel and the Witch Head Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.